Ladies here with Pro Wrestling, save you're the one, JT Dunn. And if you're on YouTube, you want wrestling information, you want to see some stuff, Dre41 YouTube, the exclusive spot right here. The JT Dunn. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Drake41, a.k.a. Mr. 5K, a.k.a. Drake41. This is a little bit of a longer video here, but um, if you guys stay with me, um, I definitely give my opinions on a lot of things that happened yesterday on the Reddit for WWE Games uh, with uh, Patrick Gilmore and the questions that he had, some charts, things of that nature. So definitely, if you can, hang in there or just listen to it, you know, whatever the case may be. But uh, once again, this is going to be the video on the Reddit. Uh, reddit forum posts from yesterday uh thank you guys for watching let's get to it so this is going to be the feedback project for uh match types uh we got 220 unique contributors uh 242 total forum posts 176 overall requests sheesh and 69 features with at least two requests now let's get we're gonna go counterclockwise because reasons uh so only nine percent of people were looking for special guest referee which i, I a special guest referee honestly it's it's a good match and i think the only reason why people uh want special referee is because of the change the referee so if we got our own like universe going you know it you know we can change the referee but i think it should just be an option where we can uh create a referee I think that's something that we can definitely, definitely utilize in this game. I don't know why they never uh, came up with that option when they used to have create a manager back in the day. Who remember, remember when create a manager was a crazy feature? Sheesh. Shout out to the people who's old enough to remember that. 7% um, of people wanted a war game. War games is actually a cool match. Here's the thing. If it's on TV, it should be in the game. Point blank, period. So war games, I can definitely understand. Uh, we should run with that. 6% um, of people are looking for Buried Alive. Buried Alive is actually a good match too, but it depends on which one. Are we talking about the Mountain of Dirt or like a casket on the side of the ring? If we're talking about the Mountain of Dirt, I think there's so many great ways you can use that and have like special features like doing like special moves into the dirt or when you both fall in and you could do like a mini game where both of you have to like tap the buttons to get out or something like that that'd be cool i think i think that'd be really cool the i quit i think the i quit with the microphone is what they're talking about i would hope so um yeah that would be a that would be a cool feature to have uh to have that back and i think that would have to be a mini game too um to get the person to say i quit um would i play it nah but i mean for other people you know i think it'd be a cool match uh, even if i'm using it in my um my um efed you know i think that'd be cool to have uh we got five percent with an inferno match inferno matches are pretty cool um but they gotta update them like to where it's really worth it like just to see somebody's arm on fire is kind of whack like i i guess you really can't have anybody engulfed in flames i don't think there's really a cool way of having an inferno match really but i mean I, I if they add it they add it but you know i don't see it being as cool as it can be because then it would be like adults only type of game because you set somebody on fire it's like you're killing them <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i don't know about that too much <clears throat> uh so we also have five percent on a casket match which is the same thing like a buried alive cool i'll take it gauntlet match we definitely need that's kind of like a slobber knocker though kind of but a gauntlet match i can completely understand uh three stages of hell we definitely need that back stop playing with us why would you eat like i don't even understand like in the history of wwe where you would have a match in real life put it in a the game then take it out like i don't even understand it should just be in there you know what i'm saying um ambulance match that would be cool as long as you could put them on a stretcher first and wheel them and they have to like like do the mini game like when you're trying to grab the briefcase and the ball like goes around in a circle and you got to press the button to to get it into the middle of the circle i think that would be cool to do and it's like they can like punch you while you're on <laughs> while you're on the stretcher to shake it that would be hilarious uh lumberjack yes absolutely if you get eight people in Here's the problem, right? 
we need because if it's two people in the ring that means there's six people on the outside and it has to be on each side of the ring or maybe like you know one or two people on each side or whatever the case is for for the match to really mean something and they have to pull you out like they have to have heels and have to have good guys you know what i'm saying to make it fair or just where they just pull either one of you and just don't care and just beat the hell out of you and throw you back into the ring. Not where they keep you outside the ring forever. It should be like a predetermined amount of time, maybe like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, something like that. Toss you back in and you're damaged. You know what I'm saying? Or they throw you out the ring, they beat you up, throw you back in. You know what I'm saying? Where the lumberjacks actually mean something as opposed to just standing out there just for the match. A championship scramble. Yes, just bring it back in. Boneyard match. I... I guess I guess we could yeah why not why not a boneyard match but it has to be a spectacular match like it has to be a spectacle like it is at Wrestlemania if it's not that then I we don't need it uh Pujami Pujabi prison match nah nah uh, nah nah uh intergender singles match that will never happen give up on that dream not by WWE it just won't happen unfortunately slobber knocker is like the same thing as a um it's like a gauntlet match. So, you know. Survivor Series 5v5? Don't we already have that? I don't know. <laughs> Strat match? I, I guess. Stretcher match is kind of like the same thing as an ambulance match. Uh, item on a pole? No. That's so... W no. That's Attitude Era WCW. Don't... That's the one type of match that, to me, is stupid. It's any item on a pole. Like, it's just dumb. I don't know. Whatever. Tag Team Elimination Chamber. Yes, we need that. 50-person Royal Rumble. Um, no. We should just have it to where we can set the amount of people in a uh, Royal Rumble. Like, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40. Like, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Something like that. A 40-man Rumble. We already had that in the game. We need to have it back. Empty Arena. I don't think they're going to do that. Uh, beat the Clock. That sounds good. Money in the Bank at WWE Headquarters you guys want too much <laughs> that's not gonna happen um a street fight that's cool uh king and queen of the ring tournaments it's already in the game um i mean like like to make it a, a spectacle like a pay-per-view i guess sure um a flag match boo triple threat tag i think it is in there but i mean i think they mean like tagging in and out instead of like a tornado firefly funhouse as long as it's like what we see on tv cool defeat the streak that was a hard game mode, and honestly, I don't know if I want to do that. Braun panties, that's never coming back. Barbed wire, that's not happening. And all the others is 12%. So, I mean, you can see what the community wants in these type of match types. Some of them are cool. Some of them are out there, like the Braun panties. You're not getting that. Like, what weirdo asked for Braun panties? Like, y'all are weird. Like, get girlfriends. But let's get to the next one. All right, so now we're going to go into the community creations Ooh, you see, now here's the thing. For for this for this Reddit thing, I I didn't really participate. I'm just gonna be 100% with you guys, and I know you're probably like, what, Dre? Like, why would you listen? Honestly, it's too many people sitting there asking for stuff at one point in time. I'm not gonna be one of those guys trying to throw like something, you know, on the table when you got a hundred other people. I rather, if they deem my ideas credible enough or worth it enough you know they'll hit me up and ask me um also i might i'm not gonna say nothing we we might have some things coming up in the near future but we're gonna keep that quiet for now um 145 unique contributors 150 total forum posts i was not one of them 369 overall requests Ooh, 28 features with at least two requests so we're gonna go counterclockwise again 15 percent was just all others i don't know what that is um two percent won a rating system a rating system is great that will weed out the good from the bad that is definitely needed we had that before we definitely need that again uh, we had that on last gen 360 uh playstation 3 we had that for for a good while and uh, then it stopped i don't know why but you know it did uh filtering customization a more deeper filtering um feature definitely yes um like uh guys of a certain height certain weight you want a cruiserweight you want just a a, a woman wrestler 
uh you you want a giant you want a super heavyweight you want just a heavyweight things like that um but that also has to give us the ability to put like certain type of search options on uploads as well uh language filter update i don't know i don't know what what that means exactly um shout outs to them uh custom entrance uploads to do cut well i mean what you mean like just create an entrance and just upload an entrance like i don't understand that really like why would you want to upload a custom entrance i don't i don't get that i don't know like that oh, i understand like uploading a move set because you just want to use a move set but like why would you want to upload just a custom entrance like i, I don't know whatever it is what it is um community creation sorting improvements and filtering that's three percent as well um yeah i mean it's kind of telling what it is <laughs> three percent want community spotlight community spotlight wouldn't be bad it would actually be a great idea but it should go based upon the thumbs up or a star rating system like five stars and you get showcased or it's like oh this person get like in like five five star calls like look at their stuff but honestly we have to increase the upload limit that 20 is trash like i, I shouldn't have to create three gamer tags um back on the 360 days i had one gamer tag with hundreds honestly i think i did like 200 maybe maybe even more calls on there like really for real like all i had to do was change the saves same gamer tag and just like man it was crazy it was beautiful uh better previewing options yeah 2k20 preview options make them look uh skinny and it's not really that great and it's kind of far and you can't zoom in um not good it should be a lot clearer it should be the proper um proportion or ratio aspect and uh yeah it should just be closer so we're able to see them better and know if we should actually download that call um custom video uploads that yes short answer is yes um image upload uploader updates image uploader updates um i'm not too sure on this one not too sure on this one i'm a little bit confused like what it, what updates would it need like six percent of people were talking about that but i don't i don't understand what that is like what image uploader updates do you need i, I don't know uh, hashtag update better search options we talked about that already we need filters better filters for a specific call or organization that they're in or era or year that they wrestled whatever things like that uh more so more slots and remove limits that's it God, listen these these current gen systems right like i have a two terabyte hard drive right i should be able to pack it as much as i want do not tell me that I can only have so many logos on my save. Well, who are you to tell me this? As long as I'm like, it doesn't like, first off, if I'm playing online, you're only utilizing the logos that I have on that particular call. Not all of them that's on the system. You know what I'm saying? So it's how many logos I upload. It shouldn't matter how many logos I have on my save. I should be able to save to my heart's content. Other games allow you to save as much as you want. For an example, Fire Pro. You can download as many calls as you want. As many as you want. So why do we have limits? I mean, granted, yes, the graphics on 2K games are, are better than Fire Pro, but still, regardless, I'm using, a ter I have gigs and gigs, hundreds of gigs available. Let me utilize them as I want. Don't tell me I can only download or make a hundred calls. No, I should be able to make as many as the uh, as my 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 hard drive can handle. That simple. And that was like twenty one percent of people. And then twenty five percent of people want cross network community creations. Ooh, we about to open up the bag box book buttons of worms. I don't know. I'm just okay. Here's where we're gonna get the nitty gritty. Cross-platform is a good and bad thing. Now, here's the good from it. The great call creators from PlayStation 4 will now, you will now be able to download their work on Xbox and vice versa. 
the people on the come up will get pushed down. That simple. They will get pushed down. Now, um, people on the come up who are great call creators, I'm not going to sit there and do the name thing because people are going to be like, oh, you ain't say this word. I'm not doing all that. Um, they're they're going to get pushed way down and they're going to be harder to find because I know on PlayStation, there's some, there's some hard hitters on PlayStation. Those hard hitters on PlayStation are going to take the place of the people on the come up on the Xbox side and vice versa. Hard hitters on the Xbox side are going to take the place of some of the people on the PlayStation side. Who's going to be number one? It's going to be a constant fight. It's going to be a constant fight to see who's number one on community creations, right? We did that before. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing else about that. <laughs> okay, now let's get into some uh, Reddit questions, um, some Reddit responses. And uh, so we have this one where it's the kid behind a camera one. All right. <laughs> Very concerned about hearing that you're turning the focus away from TV style presentation. Does that mean when we play the game, it won't look and feel like an episode of WWE anymore? It won't break down like a match? And the response was, I think it will feel more like WWE than ever. We're definitely going to stay within the stylistic framework of WWE presentation, but with a stronger focus on capturing the emotional experience of the superstars. You see this in many broadcasts, no, wait a minute. You see this in many broadcasts that do a great job of showing the emotion and intensity of the superstars. Things like how the match breaks down are going to continue to be true to WWE for sure. Okay, so with this, I it it never really gave a 100% accurate presentation as far as once again replays. Um, well, actually, what Raw back on the Xbox, um, it used to do side by side the replay playing while you're playing the game. That was cool, but it kind of took your eyes off of what you're doing for the replay I, I mean it's cool for presentation wise but if you're playing the game they got to make it to where you're not really paying attention if they do decide to do it that way another thing that bothered me um camera wise or presentation wise is when you're outside the ring the camera kind of backs out as opposed to going to a camera um angle that they use on television um that's one thing that i would hope that they add to it now as far as the stylistic framework what they're speaking about it like the emotional experience then they have to be talking they have to be yelling you have to hear the 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 wrestlers in the ring you have to hear it other than that i don't know how they plan on doing it just by simply playing the game you know what i'm saying it, there has to be a rewrite on how the wrestler responds to you the referee everything for you to have any type of uh, an emotional like experience in a match they have to really like change what you see in that ring when you're playing or even when the cpu is going up against each other it it's it, that's a huge task so i i would like to see them actually try this i don't know if it's going to get implemented in the next game or if they have a long enough time but time will tell we'll see on this one we have patrick gilmore giving us the six core areas of focus Ooh, this will be interesting. So, the six core areas of focus. Core gameplay. Making the superstar versus superstar gameplay the best it's ever been. Ooh, that's a tall task for two years, man. We'll see. Uh, emergence. Uh, leveraging physics and more generic object environment systems to enable spectacular gameplay that players feel in control of. Well, first off, dude, change the controls back. Like, honestly, don't, no, this, this 2K20 thing, change the controls back. Honestly, we, we don't like it. That was a bad move. WWE X, uh, WWE Experience, delivering an end-to-end -end true WWE experience in all aspects of the game, from UI and rapper to superstars, uh, match types, and story mode. Um, yo, here's the thing I was thinking about, right? If they got, like, some call creators, right, to make their characters as, like, your opponents in a story mode. So it's like, let's say, let's just say I make my own, like, let's say if I, you know, if they were to bring me in, right? And I say, oh, l l my character, my character's name is Showtime. Shout out to everybody who use, uh, uses Showtime. Uh, <laughs> 
this got a ch cheap plug um like you would have you know his character in your story mode you know what i'm saying and maybe it would be like a it would not it wouldn't be an xbox exclusive it would just be in the story like one point in your career or like let's say like defract or ryd would have um like his own character you know what i'm saying that would, i think that would be cool but um let's continue on online um improving all aspects of the online experience yeah sure i stopped playing online mainly because it's not great and also there was a lot of cheaters spammers things like that it just it was pointless uh character make the best looking superstars of all time honestly i think they already i think they already hit that stride on current gen systems i don't think it can get any better um i think they they plateaued on that one i would just say with some of the superstars really take more detailed pictures and because some of them just look very thrown together like they didn't have enough time to like get detailed pics like they like they took pictures of themselves and sent them in <laughs> um create upgrade the creation suite and make our community creations tools feel like magic to use um that's a bit scary right because when they say feel like magic to use it's it's i feel like there might be a situation where they simplify it to where it can't be as detailed right a lot of people are scared to go into call mode mainly because they feel like it's overwhelming and to a certain degree it is that's that's not even a lie it is what it is if if you've never done it before, like i know call creators who didn't know to change the face template who did not know that the face template been there for years they've been using just the default face the whole time and that's wild um yeah it does need to be fixed um to where people know what to do maybe a step by step like the first time you do it but it, it, it shouldn't change it, it it really shouldn't like it, there should be a tutorial at the beginning a step by step so they know each feature in and out and yes it should it should either be do you want to go through this tutorial or do you want to skip it do you already know how to do it or do you want to learn that's that should be the two options when you go in to create a wrestler point blank period don't change the way it is it's fine the call creators who are well known have been doing it for years they're used to the system it's cool making it quotation marks magic I, I don't understand it and that kind of scares me because you're using a very vague term for something that we have to utilize to make a wrestler look the way they supposed to look and say it's going to be magic to use no nah, don't do that explain to me what you mean by magic what magic mean i don't, I don't understand that nah but yeah this, this is the, the six core areas of focus they're good for uh, they're good uh core areas um they're good um but they need to be more detailed and some of those on the creation suite thing they really got to be detailed in that best looking superstars tell me what you're going to do to make them looking any better on current gen systems online i don't really do online so you know it is what it is um the wwe x you know we need more uh more detail we need more detail in all of these so we'll see what happens with this but those are the six core areas of focus we'll see if they give us more details later down the line so on this one uh this is from an audio team member on wwe 2k uh, so regarding commentary, we are aware of this. Uh, we are working on creating much improved and enhanced reactions to better uh, suit each situation. Lord knows they need to because some of the commentary in 2K20 is not great. 19 is not that great either. I turn commentary off to be honest because I do commentary myself. Um, the past two cycles, we have made progress on a new foundation to build on and we're focused on expanding content to support more situations in our next title. As for the crowd, we are currently updating our crowd systems to sound fuller and more responsive to specific actions taking place. Addressing repetition and content is a major focus for the commentary team and something we are excited about as it's a major part of bringing realism to the experience and a more organic representation of broadcast. 
Both interruption and branching commentary elements along with repetition and content is a major focus for the next title. So basically, I, I <sighs> okay. They, they need to just not let them breed off of anything. Just let them freestyle it. Honestly. Just let them freestyle. Like, I, like I, I get like some things they want to say like, but let just say, hey, and here's bullet points. Just go here. Like, do you need us to get the data for you? Like, how many times they won the world title at that time or whatever the case is or, you know, whatever, you know, like certain wins or, or milestones in their career or something like that. Cool. But let them freestyle it. Do not let them read off of a script. That script nonsense does not work. They are not like, okay, pro wrestlers are actors, but they're not actors. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't give them a script because it sounds like it just doesn't sound real. And it doesn't sound like the presentation that you see on television. Maybe they're more used to how they see how they do it on television as opposed to in a studio. Who knows? But um, yeah, they definitely need to update the commentary. The commentary needs to sound more livelier. The crowds need to bore the crowds need to be more raucous. Like they need to be loud, deafening. Like to where you can't hear the commentary team sometimes. Like we need to have a holy sh you know, or that was awesome, or you suck, or something like that to where you hear it. Honestly, it, crowd reactions. They need to just rip the stuff from the Attitude Era because that's when the crowds were the liveliest. Or they need to go on YouTube. <laughs> no, nah, they won't do that. But they need to like watch like YouTube videos and listen to the crowds at indie shows and what they chant. You know what I'm saying? Like, and even silly situations like when somebody puts them in a headlock. Like, but this goes on gameplay wise. But like, you put them in like a like a a stupid move, like something that's not even that incredible and the fans start chanting this is wrestling clap 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 like you know what i'm saying like something like that so yeah they definitely need to update it for the next game they got two years to do it we'll see what they do with it but yeah they definitely need to revamp the whole thing okay 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 i know this video is going like super long but you know what I already told you guys it's gonna go super long so thank you guys for staying in there and uh, we still got a lot more to go I might have to chop this up but let's get to it so we have another reddit user um, hitting up Patrick asking a question uh, hey Patrick uh, being made the new producer of the next WWE game I wonder who he uh, replaced uh, what do you personally feel needs to be added to the next game to give it replay ability throughout the year a great question. I personally start with core combat. Uh, yeah, that's that's smart. I think everything flows from that. Uh, building on uh, core combat, I think you naturally flow into online, universe, and creation suite, where members of our community do just an amazing job of adding to the experience throughout the year. For me, improving online and supporting all those creators are the key to driving replayability throughout the year. Now, here is a fact um call creators keep this game going after the last bit of dlc comes out last bit of dlc is usually after wrestlemania so uh, before or after wrestlemania so that's around april so we got may june july august september october or maybe even november maybe right so that's seven months you know when they stop doing anything with the game and the call creators literally keep keep these games alive that is a fact year in and year out then i'm not even gonna like say me that's that's anybody who's who create actual wrestlers even even original wrestlers you know what i'm saying like that's that's replayability that that keeps you interested when even my guy that's i'm not gonna say names i'm not because i know somebody's gonna say something but they know who they are because i follow them <laughs> you know the guys who create updated attires you know what I'm saying? Like things like that. So we not yet. Yeah, we're all call creators or arena creators, whatever. It's all the same thing. It's under it's under that creation suite. Creation suite contributors. Yeah, that's that's what we're going to run with. We keep the game alive. And I'm happy that he acknowledges this. I'm pretty sure WWE games did that once or twice, but I'm happy that, you know, coming in, he recognizes, you know, the community. And who keeps this game actually going? Um, combat, yes. Start with combat. Work your way out. Um, combat should be the core, and you know, 
work your way out you know to the other features connecting to that um yeah because the combat in 20 it, it really has to be like the controls have to be changed i'm gonna like that's gonna be something i'm gonna say on numerous times like you're gonna have to change the controls back but a uh, combat definitely has to be updated has to be tweaked has to be refined with a fine tooth comb um polished um i can definitely say for 20 20 just has a lot of things wrong with it so i think they're gonna have to look back on 19 and say how how can we match this and make it better so yeah i could definitely understand his response on there it was a good response but you know we'll see what happens once again and i'll say this like after every every damn picture like we'll see what happens because just because they're responding we'll see you know what i'm saying so on to the next one so here we have um a response from patrick um i do believe this is in regards to create a story which i actually enjoyed one time <laughs> my one time using in uh wwe 2k i want to say 14 i want to say that when i was doing some i was doing the 30 years of wrestlemania but the matches that they didn't have oh it would have been tough me and sean styles was actually writing that one out we never finished it shout out to him uh but yeah he uh pat responded with i personally blah 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 <laughs> i can't say personally it is what it is love create a story and would love to get it back into the game when they say that that means it won't happen <laughs> We definitely want to do it at some point, just not in the next game. As for GM mode, which means they won't have it in the next game. It is not lost on us um, that it is the top requested feature in our recent community feedback project, but it won't be in the next game. We're working on proposal solutions internally, but they'll need to get reviewed and approved before we move forward on development. We'll share more in the future. Basically what he means is it's not approved yet, they're still trying to figure out if they can even fit it in the game so yeah we know you guys want it but it probably won't be in the next game <sighs> we're 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 chasing that white horse but uh hey at least they know what we want right this one will not be fun at all this is a lot of damn reading okay so here's another question uh that the community has here uh you can see the name at the top left uh, amateur meme lord that's what's up uh will there be any updates to 2k19 and 2k20 in the process of waiting for 2k22 uh whether it be content additions or simply bug fix uh fixes well my <laughs> this is patrick speaking well no, i'm just playing <laughs> my best answer to new patches for 2k20 is probably not i know that's disappointing news to many of you so i hope you'll let me elaborate okay so guys you can sit there you can pause the video and basically read it but um the gist that i have from this um they they knew what it was and just and just because he joined in doesn't mean he's he has the power to get them to go back to 20 and fix whatever is wrong with it whatever bugs issues that you are still having with the game they assume they fixed everything to their best to, to their best abilities um so we're stuck with what we're stuck with um for me it i i would love to create on 2k20 i i really would but it's it's not a finished product um even with the what they say four patches five patches that they did it didn't fix the game um that's that's just a fact for me for some other people maybe the game works perfectly fine and for me i just chalk it up as a hundred dollars down the drain literally like charge it to the game basically you know um so you know we're not getting no updates for 19 we're not getting no updates for 20 he can't do it you know they're they're moving forward so it is what it is that's literally what i took from this so on this next one um it's it's a question that i can understand mainly because of other wrestling games mainly the the aki wrestling games aki whatever aki aki however you like to pronounce it shout outs to you subscribe to your youtube channel um uh, <laughs> like no mercy you were able to change all aspects 
of the in-game wrestlers. You can change their hair, face, everything. You can't change their moveset though. That was blocked. It is what it is. Um, so we have a question. Is there any reason that the WWE games never allowed us to customize hair, beard, and makeup options for existing on-disc WWE superstars? It seems like such an odd thing not to add when in real life, the superstars always change hairstyles and shave or let them grow or changing makeup, especially when trying to create attires changing since those options would be a big help to change uh, their look or even update their look if it ends up being outdated after the game's release. It's never been in any of the previous games, no mercy, uh, so I was wondering if there was a reason for not adding this since it's kind of one of the most requested things for superstars creation suite I've seen through the years of the game's release. Um, so basically what uh, Pat goes into is a lot of you know legalese um you know likeness rights reserved copyright and cc'd trademarked gimmicks like that um yeah they i guess they just can't do it they just can't we're not gonna get that so you're just gonna have to create a wrestler of them <laughs> if they have the hairstyle for them that's that's another thing for you know them to really hit up the call creators and ask us what should be in the creation suite so we are able to make the type of updates that the community wants or the specific wrestler you know what i'm saying so um just another reason for them to hit us up and you know just get our uh opinions maybe some input maybe you know something i mean but input is one thing i mean them really taking and utilizing is a whole nother so you know but yeah basically no updates that we can make to the um end game superstars or dlc's hair face makeup gimmicks like that all right so now we have another question on reddit from mark quill uh do you plan on keeping the creation suite mostly as is while adding new features and uh, Patrick responded with create is one of the six primary areas of focus for the next game. We are looking at all modes in the creation suite, uh, streamlining interfaces and improving the experience for power users. I don't power users who, who I, I don't know who the power users are. It's already kind of streamlined. I don't know how they can streamline it anymore as opposed to saying once you create then it automatically goes to moveset then it automatically goes to entrance then it automatically goes to um winning animation then i'd be like oh oh okay maybe i didn't want to do this yet but you know whatever uh we're also upgrading base models and trying to bring more personality and flow to the creation process the create team's vision is tools that feel like magic to use. I hate that. I hate, no. Tools that feel like magic to use. No. Don't, I don't like that. That scares me. I, I don't know why. Don't, don't say that. Don't say it's like magic because it's not. It's all technique. They want everyone to be able to create something that looks amazing to incorporate that creation into the game and to share it with the world well here's the problem with that right it doesn't matter how easy you make it it all depends on the person and the time that they want to put into making a great creation some people just throw up anything and just be like okay well there it is i'm not going to really try and some people really feel that way some people know that they're not creating something good and just say whatever if somebody you know doesn't like it whatever they just don't have to download it so that's pretty subjective that's that's on a case-by-case -case basis there's no way to make everybody be able to make like there, there's no way to make any tool in the game make it to where anyone who buys the game be able to make amazing creations there's no way it all takes skill it all takes time and patience so yeah across the entire life cycle of creation creation suite uh, soon uh, we have improvements planned as some of you know we've reached out to power creators in the community to get their recommendations on how to take universe to the next level i'm super excited to shape universe through advice directly from some of the most passionate and active creators 
we shall see if that happens as well <laughs> a lot of these things that they're that they're saying that they want to do sound cool but we've kind of heard this before but let's see now i'm assuming he was asked a question about being a wrestling fan or does he have any like history of watching wrestling and he put omg where do i start i love professional wrestling in general in a unique way it spans the globe oh, okay and merges sports and athletic competition with a with big personality storytelling and drama all of which translates well to to games w when you actually use them that's that's the thing um at its core it takes elements of the best genres of video games combat storytelling drama and spectacle a good WWE game offers the experience of being the superstar, not observing the superstar. Every decision and moment can feel important and visceral. The approach to the next WWE 2K franchise game will be, or game will view WWE as real competition with high stakes, pain, rivalries, and drama, and we want the player to feel invested in it all, or in all of it. Um. So, he, all right. So, here's here's the thing. Like when when I read these um, responses, uh, I, I feel like he really wants to put out a great product. And I think because he's so new, I I don't know. Like it's just like I, my guy. I think I think you're 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 telling us too much. I think that's that's the thing. And these. The next game will be baby steps ahead of 2K20. That honestly, that's how I feel, right? And I don't, I don't want to sound negative because it's a game that I want to buy, and I feel like a majority of people can sit there and say they feel burned by 2K20. Um, to make it more like combat, I want to say they're going more simulation style, which depending on how they do it if they do it right it would be great but i'm i'm just with him explaining it like this it's like you we are the superstar but we don't feel immersed to make us feel like a superstar we got to hit a crowd it has to be deafening um the the commentary has to feel real it has to feel uh it, it just has to feel lifelike it has to have flow to it it has to be funny it has to be make you angry it has to make you feel something and it's difficult for a pre-recorded game with with pre-recorded commentary to make you feel a type of way you know what i'm saying like the, the commentary has to like 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 whatever you do in that ring you get in and out the ring they have to respond to that you pick up a weapon and throw it down. They got to respond to that. Like you cheating. They got to respond to that quickly. Oh, that was me snapping my finger. That, like it's it's a lot of things they would have to add to the game to make us feel like the superstars when we're playing it or when we're simming it. But I mean, he, he he's, he's giving us a lot. He's, he's responding to a lot. But once again, we got to see it. We got to see it happen. So on our second to last card here, we're almost done guys. Thank you for hanging in there. I definitely appreciate it. So it looks like Patrick was responding to another um, question. I don't have that. I just have this. So, you know, it is what it is. Definitely. This is the number one goal for the team. We are working hard to create the strongest possible foundations upon which we can build amazing gameplay and features. This means stability and polish. Polish, please guys you gotta polish the game we need 2k22 we we need 2k22 man to to really really make us forget 20 like we you gotta make us say you know what 20 we'll let it slide we'll let it slide you know what i'm saying like we'll let it slide that's what they have to do and then that's gonna be a difficult task because they're there are memes of this game like honestly when this game comes back out people are going to say well what happened to the last one and they're going to pull up videos 
of 2K20 when it first came out, before the patches, and say, whoo boy, hopefully we don't get this again. So they're gonna have to knock our socks off with 2K22. They're gonna have to. So Patrick Gilmore, if, if you're watching this, maybe, maybe not, I'm pretty sure not. Um, the community awaits to see what you bring to the table. Because I can tell you, as a, as nice as they are right now, <laughs> they will turn you heel in a second. <laughs> For real. So um, hopefully we get a better product, but time will tell. And for the final clip of the day, we have the Gameplay Feedback Project. 210 unique contributors, 481 overall requests, 371 total forum posts, and 42 features with at least two requests. Once again, this is going to go counterclockwise. 16%, all others, don't know what that is. 1% uh, want wrestler archetypes, which is cool. Um, it's kind of limited. Um, we had it before, and I don't think we need that. Uh, WWE atmosphere that goes with the crowd that goes with just I think the camera angles as well we need to be able to change camera angles in this game too that's another big thing like stop playing around Joe we need to be able to change camera angles and commentary more moves yes um, none of the moves should be DLC all of them should be in the core game and we should just be paying for additional wrestlers just put that out there um, improved cameras yes change the cameras for goodness sake please better hair physics yes that's all i gotta say for that one custom controls i would just say changing back to 19 custom controls is basically us saying hey can you can you can we put, like give us 19 controls please right um hell in a cell with an exclamation point i'm not sure of what that is but okay hell in a cell cool um visual damage on superstars i remember in wrestling games where the blood hits the uh, mat i remember if you knife has chop somebody enough they get the um the bruising on the chest also on the ribs as well if you remember what uh wwe 12 whoo that's taking it back but remember when you get bruises on your body what what a crazy feature um two percent one increased difficulty okay uh, three percent want simulation gameplay. Oh, I, I think like if we simulate any of the matches, it should be like how we see it on TV. Once we once they get the game like that, I think we're good money. Um, and approved crowd um, RX. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, three percent want a better referee. We, just, we need better referees. We need to be able to. To, to update how they react in a match. That's what we need to have control of. 3% want physics, cool. Backstage um, and, imp and improv. I think like what, better better backstages and more stuff we can interact with, I think will be cool. More blood, we're not getting that. Faster pace, it all depends on what type of match. If we're using luchadors, cool. If we're using specific um, heavyweights, uh, no. You know, it should be how they wrestle on TV. Um, improved reversal system. Yeah, I think like the TNA Impact game was a good way to show like reversals. I think they're getting there, but um, we should be able to reverse more than once. Uh, gameplay customization. Yes, we need. Um, just look at Fire Pro and use that as a base and say, how can we do better than that? Smarter AI. Absolutely. Reworked gameplay. Okay. 2K19 controls. <laughs> they put it in there. Absolutely. Improve the animations. Absolutely. And 9% want weapon uh, interaction. So this is a good uh, feedback project for the gameplay. A lot of this I do agree with. Some of them I don't. Um, yeah, we need better weapons and more weapons. 20 added a bunch of new weapons, but they're really goofy ones. Um, let's add some of the ones like we had back in the day, like the barbed wire two by four, set a table on fire and that make, you know, and actually look good. Um, uh, thumbtacks would be cool. We've seen that before. 
you know, just things that we actually seen in WWE. I know we can't sit there and go nuts and have it like a CZW match. I get it. But, man, let's let's just have it to some stuff that we actually seen on TV. But you know what? I held you guys for almost an hour. I appreciate you guys so much if you hung in there and watched this with me. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys on the next video later.